Sí. Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Fine. Thank hello. you. Notice. Good night. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for joining. It's a pleasure to, to be here with you guys. So, veo que más se nos están agregando. So far, I can see Cecilia, Nestor, Nelson, Sara, Gabriela, Mr. Contreras, uh, let me see, let me see, Gabriela, Maricruz, um, I cannot see the others, Jonathan, Mr. Abrego, hello. I see iPhone de Apple, si me regala el nombre, please, also to know. Uh, Daniel, hello. It's a pleasure, guys. It's a pleasure to be here with, the, uh, with you. My name is Julia Sarseño, and I'm going to be your, your facilitator, uh, this module, all right? Um, Kevin, also, gracias por, um, por estar acá y poder compartir con nosotros un momento. Jennifer, Miss Trejo, Miss Garcia, also. Thank you very much. Um, all right. So... Um, inglés corporativo les da la más cordial bienvenida, you know? gracias por, por unirse, por ser parte de, de, de nuestra familia y sobre todo de haber tomado la decisión de seguir estudiando, de aprender y cumplir ese sueño de aprender inglés. Eh, espero eh, poder brindarle de, de, Um, brindarles lo poquito que sé, el conocimiento que tengo sobre el idioma, you know, para que ustedes lo logren también. So, Orlando, Juan Hernández y Marilyn, thank you. Gracias por unirse también. All right. So, let me see. Creo que ya vemos bastante. So, thank you. Um, let me see, Miss Trejo. Can you hear me? Por acá mi estrejo me dice que no me logra escuchar. What about you? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Um, so let me just check this really quick. Just a second. So, um, es un placer para mí poder compartir con ustedes el eh, nivel principiante número dos, all right? And uh, let me just share something here. Um, como es nuestra primera sesión, all right? So, vamos a ir paso a paso and uh, vamos a ir alternando un poquito de español con inglés, all right? Ya al final, pues sí, vamos a compartir definitivamente eh, solamente en inglés. But in the meantime, um, vamos a hacerlo así. Give me a minute here. Give me just a second. All right. So this is session number one. All right. Um, todos tienen acceso a la plataforma, right? Todos, no sé si ya han revisado, you know, ya entraron, la curiosearon. Have you done it? Not yet. Not yet. yet, not yet. Okay, no problem. So today we are going to check session number one, que es la primera que tienen por ahí, all right? So let me introduce myself. Okay, um, so my name is Julia Sarseño, all right? Um, I'll be your teacher and it'll be a pleasure to help you uh, achieve your goal to learn English. So this is the most important thing. And this is our, my personal um, objective with you guys. Hello. Okay. Good night, everyone. 
And my name is Larissa Martí. I am teacher of the University of the Universidad Tecnológica del Salvador. I am work to uh, Hello. Larissa, hello. Creo que se nos perdió por ahí. I cannot hear Larissa anymore. All right, so I hope she can fix um, the connection. Maybe we lost her. All right, so, well, to get started, all right, this is um, the objective that I have for this session. And it is like by the end of the class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation, all right? And uh, this is our agenda. We are going to check some, um, well, the welcoming, all right? The conversation, we are going to have a little conversation practice. Then the grammar point review. We are going to have some exercises. And uh, the main, um, you know, thing of uh, today's session is this uh, speaking time, all right? Then we are going to have some seconds for uh, question and answer. So uh, before getting started, I'm going to mention some things. Eh, voy a ponerlos acá en mute, all right? I'm going to mute, mute you all, guys. Give me a second. Just a second here. Okay, so, los voy a poner en todos en mute, all right? And uh, hay una opción que dice levantar la mano. So, to avoid like having a lot of uh, background noise, uh, si tienen una pregunta or something, levantemos la mano and uh, in that way, we do it in a very organized way. So, can you please um, help me with this? Buscan la opción de levantar la mano and can you activate it, please? Daniel, thank you, you got it. También hay uno que dice emojis. So if you don't want to, you know, raise your hand, you can have like a like, and that's okay, that's fine. So Sarah, you got it. K40 also. Okay, there you go, exactly. So if you have a question, you can activate it, and it pops here. Y así yo sé que, you know, tienen preguntas or something, and we can do it, okay. Marilyn, okay, very good. Donde teacher? Está en, let, give me a second. Le tendría que aparecer en su panel. También está la opción de emojis. Thank you. También está la opción de emojis y ahí también la puede, puede seleccionar un emoji, you know, and that's fine. So it pops, all right? Y de, de igual manera se puede bajar. So, because eh, vamos a poner mute, you know, para evitar que haya mucho sonido, all right? So, Nelson, thank you. Juan Hernández also, you got it? Okay, perfect. So, intentemos hacer eso, all right? Let's try to, to keep it in a very organized way. Y así evitamos um, interrumpir a otro compañero, right? Si está hablando or something. So. Being said that, okay, let's get started. This is, um, okay, this is part of the platform. So, si ya la revisaron, um, you will find something like this. Y si no, you know, this is the very beginning. We are going to check today transportation in the U.S., all right? So, this is, these are like the most common transportation, uh, means of transportation that we can find. Uh, Nelson, I'm so sorry. Do you have a question? Or oh, se quedó arriba? Mr. Rincon? Uh, sí, por error me quedé arriba. Ah, okay, no problem. That's fine. Okay, I got it here. Okay, good. So these are like the means of transportation that we have for today. And uh, now I am going to activate your microphone. And I want you to repeat after me, all right? So. Se va a escuchar un poquito de ruido, you know, but. Give me just a second here. OK. 
que, que me ya está bien. Ok, do, do me a big favor. Uh, quítenle el mute a su micrófono. Ok. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Now let's just repeat, please. I will read them, okay, and please repeat after me. Number one, drive. 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 Walk. 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 No L, walk. 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 Perfect. Take the bus. Take, Take the, the bus. bus. Take the bus. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the subway. Take the train. Take the train. Take the train. Ride a bike. Ride, Ride a bike. bike. Ride a motorcycle. Ride, Ride a, a motorcycle. motorcycle. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. Okay, very good. So now let's take a look. Do you drive? Conducen, do you drive? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. You do? Yes. All right. I do don't you? know. Teacher. Hello? O sea que, eh, pregunto, o sea, hay que descargarlo tanto en la computadora como en el celular. O solo puede hacerlo en la computadora, pregunto. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Who was asking? What, what's your name? I, can, I couldn't see your name here. Hello. 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 Hello, hello. All right. So if the question is about the, the class, I mean, no es necesario descarga. Uh, um, well, se puede descargar en la computadora. So remember that para la clase usted se puede conectar desde la computadora o descarga la aplicación en el celular y se conecta en su celular, como usted le sea más fácil, right? So, okay, so, la opción que se le sea más fácil, right? There's no problem. Creo que algunos están en el teléfono y otros están en la computadora, right? And, and that's fine. All right, so, are we okay, are we okay with this? Oh, all right, give me just a second. Voy a darles mute. I'm going to mute you. All right. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Just a second. Okay, very good. So, so remember that, uh, please, if you have like any question, utilicemos lo de levantar la mano. And, um, okay. So, um, are we good with the vocabulary? Do you have any question? So let's check this out. What is the meaning of ride a motorcycle? What is this? Conducir una bicicleta, motocicleta. Okay, good. What about um, ride? What can we ride? Can you give me some examples? For example, ride a motorcycle, ride a bike, ride a horse. A ride. horse. Mm -hmm. So they are the possibilities. And then we can say walk. I walk. Where do you work? ¿A dónde camina? So vamos a responder esas preguntas in a couple of seconds. Okay. And let me share this with you. We have here a little conversation, all right? This is about, well, we are talking about transportation. So we are going to check. Yes, okay. So here we have, listen and practice. Let's take a look at this conversation and please repeat. We have Ashley and we have Jason. So Ashley says, Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Please, let's repeat. So, repeat after me. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. 
No, it's, no, my, it's sister. my sister. Sisters. She has a new job. She has a new job. She drives to work. She has a new job. And she drives to work. She drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job, her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. No, it is downtown. Downtown. My parents work downtown. My parents, My parents work, work downtown. downtown. But they don't so drive they to work. Don't drive to work. They, they, they don't, don't, drive, to don't work. drive to work. They use public transportation. They use public, use transportation. public transportation. The bus or the train? The bus or the train? The bus or the train? The train, the train doesn't train. stop near our house. So they take the bus. So they take the, so they so they the bus. bus. It's really slow. It's really, it's really slow. slow. That's too bad. Really That's, too bad. bad. That's too bad. So bad. 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 Yeah, this is like, oh, can okay, I? So remember that, like, Pongamole feeling, right? So, oh, that's too bad. Like saying, that's too oh, bad. That's, that's, too bad. Bad. that's too bad. That's too bad. Great. That's it. Okay, very good. So now, do me a big favor. I want you to please take a screenshot. Vamos a tomarle captura. Si ya lo tienen en la plataforma. Well, this is in the platform. Está en la plataforma, right? So si tienen Teacher. acceso, you can find it. Teacher, Mister. perdón. Tell me. Teacher, perdón, fíjese que no encuentro la, 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 la mano para levantar la mano, no sé dónde está. Pero lo que le quería preguntar era cuándo voy a ocupar taxi y cuándo voy a ocupar cab. Oh, one is American and the other, the other one is British. Ok. Yeah, so hay palabras que se usan en Estados Unidos, por ejemplo, y otras en Inglaterra. So for example, really cab, difference. taxi, y it will be in USA, and cab. Uh, in in uh, in England. In England, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Those are Thank like, you. yeah. Okay. It's the, you will find. En el camino va a encontrar más palabras que son bastante um, que se usan de forma diferente depende del país, right? Okay. <laughs> so no problem. Thank you. So Thanks. I want you to take a screenshot. Okay. Se están en la computadora print screen. Okay. Vamos a practicarla. So, um, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a crear grupos pequeños, mm -hmm. alright? And vamos a practicar la conversación de tal manera que vayamos agarrando un poquito de fluidez, alright? So, ya no me van a escuchar, así que no se preocupen. You will not be late, um, able to listen to me, okay? So, practice with your partner. Y de repente voy a aparecer ahí, voy a ir a monitorear para ver cómo vamos. Are we good? Are we fine? Yeah, yeah right. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Great. So remember, let's right. practice the conversation. It will be just like two, three minutes. Okay? So aprovechemos el tiempo eh, lo más que podamos, please. And here we go. All right. Van a recibir una invitación. All right. The mostly eh, join. All right. So unámonos. Let's join it. There you go. There you go, Daniel, me falta todavía, Orlando also. Let me see, also Sergio, me falta todavía, join the group please. Sergio, hello, can you hear me? Mm, I'm sorry, it's the mute. You're mute. Hello, hello. Orlando, hello. Hi, Orlando, can you hear me? Hi, Orlando.
Hello. Orlando, no se le escucha. Um, Hello, Orlando, si gusta, eh, escríbame en el chat para ayudarle a solucionar el problema. Our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Very good. That's nice. Okay, good job. That's okay. Um, Miss Trejo, me logré escuchar. Pudo solucionar su el problema que tenía con el audio. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm glad. So, um, todos practicaron la conversación. Did you finish? ¿O todavía faltó alguien? Falta yo. Ah, ok, ok, no hay problema. So, I will give you some more minutes. Ok, so sigamos practicando. Just one more time. Y luego regresamos a la sesión principal, ¿all right? Thank you. Right. So, no Thank you. Bien, so, good job. All right, no hay problema. Give me a second. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing here? Ya terminaron, did you finish? Sí, estamos practicando como por tercera vez. Ah, oh, ok, no problema. Ah, oh, ok, so Daniel, eh, Juan y Marilyn, right? Ok, so los tres tuvieron la oportunidad de practicar. Did you practice? Yes? Sí. Ok, no hay problema, then that's ok. So voy a, eh, voy a cerrar la sesión para que volvamos, ok? Right? So you can go back. Give me just. Welcome back, everybody. So, me alegré mucho que hayan tenido la oportunidad de practicar and I heard que habían practicado hasta dos, tres veces. So, very good job. Eso es lo que, you know, hace, um, nos permite hablar inglés mucho más rápido, la práctica, right? So, let me share my screen one more time. So, estábamos hablando, you know, de um, transportation, okay? And they were talking about a car. So let's take a look at the following here. Now let's go for the grammatical point, all right? Today, we are going to check simple present tense. Um, so simple present tense, uh, we use it to talk about routines, facts, activities that I do every single day 
or activities that are truth. But I want you to pay attention to this. We have the three points. So we are going to use affirmative, negative, and the questions or interrogative point. First, let's take a look at this part. We have, I live. So live is vivir, right? I live. I live in San Salvador, all right? You live. Oh, you live in San Miguel. He lives. So él, right? He lives in, um, I don't know, Sonsonate, for example. And also I can change he, y digo el nombre de alguien. For example, Jonathan lives in Sonsonate, yeah? Also, we have third person, she, que es un, a girl. So she lives in my house. My sister lives in my house. That is the same. It, que lo usamos para objetos, lugares, animales, all right? El clima, for example, sería it. Um, uh, we also use we, para nosotros, right? You, para usted o para ustedes, and they, para un grupo. They, we can use it for boys, like plural, for girls, for objects, so plural, all right? And also here we have the negative form. So we have, for example, I don't live, I don't live in San Miguel, all right? I don't live in La Unión, so you don't live. And also, if you pay attention for she, he, and it, the negative form is doesn't. All right, so doesn't is like, como si usted dijera no. So he doesn't live, él no vive. Él no, um, for example, before estábamos viendo manejar, drive. So I can say he doesn't drive, él no camina, he doesn't walk, all right? Ella no maneja motocicleta, for example. She doesn't, how do you say manejar motocicleta? Can you help me? Drive. Right. 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 Y yeah, interrogative, denme un segundito, ya vamos a revisarlo ahorita, vamos, eh, vamos a enfocarnos con affirmative and negative. Interrogative, give me just a second, all right? But yes, okay. we're going to check this. Okay, very good. So let's take a look at this. Now it's your turn to practice. We have here, um, Maybelline, tell me, miss. Buenas noches. Hello. 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 Solamente estaba viendo que cuando usamos el negativo en tercera persona, al verbo no se le agrega lo de la S. Yes, that's totally right. Si hay alguna right. razón, hay alguna razón, o simplemente por regla y también no lo tenemos que grabar. Yes, well, con terceras personas, como usted mencionó, let's go back to affirmative, ¿ok? Affirmative, terceras personas son estos tres, he, she, and it. He, she, it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lo que hago es siempre, voy a indicar que es tercera persona. Es lo que hace la S. So I come y le agrego S. He lives. He lives. Si tengo que caminar, walk. He walks. She walks. Siempre van a escuchar un sonido de S. Y una S. Una S al final. Yeah. Para terceras personas. Eso es obligatorio. All right? Now, ¿qué yeah. sucede con los negativos? As Maybelline said before, ¿Qué pasó acá? Él no le agregó la S. This is a rule. Cuando usted tenga un auxiliar, como por ejemplo, don't, doesn't, y el resto de auxiliares que los van a ver con el tiempo, usted ya no le puede cambiar el verbo. All right? No importa que sea tercera persona singular. Are we okay? okay. Gracias. Okay. You're welcome. No problem. So, por eso es que acá digo, he doesn't live. Ya no le agregó S. ¿Qué sucede si yo digo, oh, he doesn't live? Uh -uh, that is grammatically incorrect. So no se puede. Lo mismo que acá yo diga, he lives. No se puede. It's mandatory to add letter S. So, are we good? Are we okay? Are we clear? ¿Le gustaría que se lo explique one more time? Or everything fine? One, one more time, please. Okay. 
Not a problem. So, if when I have a verb, all right, sin importar el verbo, oh, vamos a excepcionar el verbo to be, all right, not verb be here. So, estamos hablando de actividades, all right? For example, yeah. yo quiero utilizar um, uh, eat, okay, del verbo comer, uh -huh. eat. And I have, okay. I eat. Um, I eat pupusas once a week, all right? I have, for example, Carlos Emilio. Oh, Carlos Emilio eats, listen to this, Carlos Emilio eats. How many pupusas, uh -huh. Carlos Emilio? <laughs> five pupusas. Five, okay, five pupusas. <laughs> so, this, okay, so Carlos Emilio eats five pupusas. Le tengo que agregarle a eso, all right? I have, for I example, I have here, um, see, I have Monica, for example. And I say, no, but Monica is vegetariana, all right? Y ella no come um, pollo, por ejemplo. So she doesn't eat chicken. She doesn't chicken. eat, sin la S, all right? She doesn't eat meat. So third person singular, positivos, le agrego S. Negativas, no le agrego S, all right? Y, y utilizo doesn't para indicar doesn't, no, uh, to make it negative. It does not. Does not, or it the contraction, que es funciona contraction, como yeah, doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't, no. But both doesn't are okay. Like. Um, so, she does not like, uh -huh. she does not drink, she, not like she does drink. not um, drive, not, not. or la contraction, she doesn't drink, decía, she I doesn't think. like. Everything? She doesn't yeah. like. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like, okay. or she doesn't eat chicken. So that is she the one. She doesn't like. Now, this like is your opportunity. Drink beer. Give me just a second. Okay, so this is your opportunity to practice. Okay, now let's take a look at um, this exercise. Write some sentences using the verbs on your left. The ones that you see right here. You have live, work, walk, drive, ride, read, write, eat, sleep, drink, arrive, get up, prepare, live, and give. So what are we going to do? We are going to write sentences, okay, here in positive and here in negative. So para que los cuadritos, para que organicemos cómo va la estructura. Subject, subject, puede ser I, you, she, he, etc. And then the verb, vamos a recordar que si utilizo he, she, and it, voy a agregarle um, S, all right? Por el momento vamos, eh, no vamos a ver las reglas de cómo agregar S, because there are some rules, pero vamos a asumir que la mayoría se le agrega S. El día de mañana vamos a, les voy a preparar eh, like, a little explanation para que vayamos viendo por qué algunas llevan ES, otras llevan ES en la forma escrita, all right? And here, complement puede ser información extra. Now, negative form. Subject, I, don't, okay, uh, drink, soda, for example. O, o si utilizo tercera persona, um, she doesn't write in her novel, all right? So, le voy a dar un par de minutos, escriban oraciones, write sentences. No les digo el número, you know, so be creative. Um, and uh, try to use your English. Intentamos expandir el vocabulario, all right? So, estoy right here. Si tienen preguntas o dudas, no se les olvide activar la manita, you know, para hacerlo un poco más ordenado, all right? So, um, les voy a dar tres minutos para que trabajemos en ello.
Hello, hello. Are we about to finish? Como vamos? Any question, any comment? Oh, ya terminamos, you know, everything was, was everything good? Yes. Nelson, tell me. Eh, sí, disculpe, teacher, fíjese que me tuve que levantar, eh, no entendí qué vamos a hacer, ¿será que me puede repetir, por favor? Sí, por supuesto, Gracias. no hay problema. All right. So, um, lo, que vamos, lo que estamos haciendo en this very moment es esto de acá, all right? Write some sentences using the verbs on your left. Anteriormente, you know, estábamos revisando estructura de simple present tense. Eh, que es para hablar de nuestra rutina, las actividades que hacemos, and uh, etc. So, veíamos la forma afirmativa, all right? la forma negativa. Y revisábamos que con tercera persona, he, she, and it, hay un pequeño cambio. All right? Positive sentences, or affirmative sí. sentences, le agregamos eso. En negative, um, hacemos el cambio para doesn't. Now, lo que estamos haciendo es solamente escribir oraciones usando estos verbos here on the left. So, um, acá es el cuadrito para dar solamente como una guía, right? Y que sigamos la estructura. That would be it. So, ok, pero eso, pero eso, teacher, que en alguna hoja, en Excel o en Word. O... No, no, no. I mean, si tiene un cuaderno ahí a la mano, un lápiz o el teléfono, so you can write it down. O mentalmente, okay. solamente la like, estructuremos, right? Like, probably no tengo nada donde escribir, but puedo ir like, I work every day. I don't um, sleep very well. So, solamente de estructurarla. So, there's no problem. No lo vamos a entregar. Uh, All right? It's okay. 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 So, um, can you give Thanks. me some... Okay, you're so welcome. Can you give me some examples? Negative sentences. Let's begin with negative. Tengo I dos don't... manos arriba. Hello? Oh, uh, Daniel, um, thank you. Yes. Carla doesn't sleep, doesn't sleep too late every single day. Every single day. Okay, she doesn't sleep uh, too late. Thank you. That's good, Daniel. Uh, Mr. Enriquez, tell me. I don't live in Sweden. Okay, uh, okay, you don't live in Sweden. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, déjame ver de quién es la otra manita. Oh, that was it. Okay, any other example? He doesn't eat meat because he's vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, also, we have Miss Monroy. Tell me. We get up at 6 a.m. We get up at 6 a.m. Very good. That's okay. Any other person? Uno más. One more volunteer. Ernesto, Kevin, no lo he escuchado, Kevin, todavía. Mr. García, tampoco lo he escuchado todavía. Uh, Maricruz, thank you, tell me. Maricruz, hello. Sorry. No, it's okay, not a problem. I don't eat now. Uh, I don't eat. Mm -hmm. Maybe sing el now, all right? Now lo usamos para un tiempo gramatical diferente. Like, I don't eat, y me puede mencionar lo que usted no come. Que es lo que usted realmente no le gusta, right? Something that you don't really eat. So, ah. I don't eat. Lo que quería decir es que yo no estoy comiendo ahora. Yeah, lo que sucede oh, es que... Oh, this sería, I don't eat this moment. No, lo que sucede no. es que no puedo, simple present, es para rutinas, no se puede okay. para como ahorita, ya lo van a ver más adelante, no se preocupe. Okay. Yes, but es un poco diferente la estructura también. So, it, it's okay, I mean, diciendo I don't eat, solamente me falta que me diga qué es lo que no come, Ajá, y eso sería perfecto. Por ejemplo, I don't eat bell pepper, no como... Eh, Chile verde, all right? I, I don't eat bell pepper. I don't like it, all right? What about you? ¿Qué es lo que no come? Uh, I don't eat egg. 
Ah, ok, all right. So you don't eat egg, that's okay. Mr. Carrillo, tell me. Mm. Mr. Carrillo, your audio is not working. Okay. Eh, ok, va. Esta, la pregunta es, ¿cómo es que dijo eh, chile verde? ¿Bel qué era? Bell pepper. Like a ah, ok, bel pepper. pepper. Mm -hmm. This is a, a other form to tell chile verde. Yeah, that's a way. Like, bell pepper is el chilito que parece la like campana. Ajá, uh -huh. so. Ajá, uh -huh. the, the like pepper. Uh, in Mexican, el pimiento. Um, I don't know if that's the way it's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah. Okay. 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 Don't don't worry. And uh, my question is, I don't drive a car. Oh, okay. You don't drive a car. That's all right. My Not sentences. a problem. It's okay. Thank you very much. Now, okay. as you mentioned, preguntas. What happens with questions? Uh, Miss Trejo, tell me. Termino con usted y vamos a preguntas. Tell me. Tell me. I don't sleep early because I don't like it. Oh, you don't sleep early. <laughs> I don't sleep early because I cannot. <laughs> I cannot sleep early. Thank you. That's a good example. All right. Now, let's take a look at this. We don't have a, we have a couple of minutes. So let's take advantage of it. And we have equation structure. Let's pay attention to the order, the structure of equation. First, today we are going to work with yes, no question, only yes, no question. We are going to use does at the beginning for he, she, and it. Again, third person. And we are going to use do for you, they, we, your parents, but your parents is they, the kids, and the kids is they. So for you, they, we, um, I, I am going to use do. So I have auxiliary, then I have the subject, then I need the verb. Do you play? Do you like? Do you brush? Do you work? And pay attention to this, no S. We are not going to add S. Are we good? Are you following me? And then we finish with the complement, any extra information you want to add, all right? so. Um, do you play football? Do you like ice cream? Do you brush your teeth? Your do you teeth. work every day? Do you take the bus? Do you take a shower every day? Okay. <laughs> so, what happens with the answers? This is a yes, no question. So my answer is going to be very limited. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Especially if the question is do you. Let's take a look. Third person, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. If the question is, do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. So follow this and you will be fine. So let's practice. Today we are going to use, um, we are going to start practicing these questions. Give me a second here. Okay. Um, do you have any question with this? Are we good? Uh, Mr. Enriquez, I see your hand is up. Do you have a question? Miss Monroy, tell me, do you have a question? Estas son las únicas maneras de responder. Esa es la forma Por corta la... de responder. Es la forma sí. corta. Eh, because si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, comenzamos con el primero. Do you play football? Do you es como juego fútbol? So, la respuesta es solo sí o no. Yes, I do. Como yes, preguntas do. cerradas nomás. Yes, estas son, se llaman yes, no question, porque solamente hay dos respuestas, sí uh -huh. o no. Later. Sí o no. Exactly. Con el tiempo vamos a ver WH questions que yo vengo y le pido información. Por ejemplo, ¿cuándo juega? ¿A dónde juega? ¿Por qué juega? Right? Y necesito mm -hmm. más. But here, these mm -hmm. are just no questions. Sí mm -hmm. o no. Uh, For example, uh, do you drive? 
conducen? Do you drive? Yes no. or no? No. No, I don't. Yes, yes I do. I... Or no, I don't. Yes, so, I do. The, this is why they are called um, yes, no questions. So let's start practicing. Let's take a look at the questions that we have right here. Let's practice the following questions. And if possible, vamos a ver también si eh, no quieren intentar hacer sus propias preguntas. First, take a look at question number one. Uh, Permítanme solo un segundito. Vamos a silenciarlos acá para que podamos escuchar las respuestas, you know, from your classmates. So, number one, do you walk to work? Do you walk to work? ¿Alguien quiere responder? Can I have a volunteer, please? No, I don't. Daniel, okay, thank you. Anybody else? Do you walk to work? Alguien dice sí? Jennifer, tell me. Miss Trejo, hello. Do you work for... Number one, alguien camina hacia el trabajo. Do you walk to work? Yes, I, yes, I work my work. Okay, yeah. so. All right, let's take a look at the yes, next one. Uh, I believe. Okay, give me a second. Remember, uh, activemos el micrófono, right? Para, para así ir también, tener la secuencia de a quien estoy escuchando, because here I have a lot of voices, all right? No problem. <laughs> uh, let's go with number one. Uh, number two, sorry. Do you ride a bicycle? A volunteer. ¿Quién quiere contestarla? Number two, do you ride a bicycle? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Luis Enrique, thank you. Okay. Number no, three. No, I don't. No, I don't. I so, let me see. Maybelline, ¿quién más dijo que no? No, no I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't ride a bicycle. All right. What about number no, three? Give me a second. Number three says... Do you play soccer? Who plays soccer? Do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. I play soccer with my family and my parents. Sorry. You, I'm so sorry. You play soccer with your family, you said? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, yes, I do. I play soccer with my parents and my family and friends. Great. That's really good. Especially if your parents play soccer. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, what about you. number four? Does your oh, let's pay attention to four. Does your sister work from home? No. Does the, oh, let's take a look. Does your sister? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes. Yes, yes she does because we are in quarantine. <laughs> yes, she does. Or si no trabajara, right? No, she doesn't. Exactly. No, she doesn't. All right, that's no, okay. And Okay, and number five, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I live in San Salvador. Okay, so yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, and there we go. So pretty much this is the idea of questions, all right? We have to be careful. Um, what is who we are talking about? Si es your sister, he, she. Entonces hacemos un pequeño cambio. No usamos do, sino que utilizamos does. Y la respuesta cambia un poquito a yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Um, any questions so far? Do you nope. have any question? No? No. No. Great. That no. sounds very good. Okay. Okay. Awesome. You're really good at students. Okay. Nice. So... All right, we have a couple of minutes. Vamos a aprovecharlo para ver qué tanto logramos el día de ahora. All right, so vamos a yeah. ir atrás nuevamente. Vamos a, revi um, a revisar los verbos. All right, y les voy a preguntar a algunos específicamente que me ayuden con ejemplos positivos, negativos y preguntas. All right, si no se recuerdan, no se preocupen, no se estresen. All right, the idea is to help you. <laughs> si alguien puede colaborar, it's fine. The idea is to. Um, you know, help each other. So, let me see. Miss, pa I have uh, Jose Rivera. Mr. Rivera? Hello? 
Okay, there you are. Can you please help me with a negative sentence using a walk? Walk. Yes, walk. Hello? Hello, yes, walk. Positive or negative sentence? Okay. I don't walk to my job. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's okay. So, seleccione un compañero. Choose a partner. Okay. Um. Jorge Aguilar. Jorge Aguilar. Mr. Aguilar, please. Chicos, no se me vayan todavía. No se me vayan a salir, all right? <laughs> so, Mr. Aguilar. Hello. Hello. Help Sample. me, please. Ayúdeme con una pregunta. Help me with a question. Una pregunta. Utilizando do you. That's fine. Sí. Eh, she eats the pizza. All right. Mm, Agreguémosle algo más al inicio. Eh, le muevo un segundito. Uh, acá, acá, acá. Here. Ah, ok. Does, does she eats the pizza? Very good, ok. So, does she eat pizza? Uh, well, si me pregunta de mi hermana, yes, she does. All right. She eats pizza. Thank you very much. One more person, Mr. Okay. Aguilar, please. Seleccione a alguien más. Vamos a ver. Aquí a Sergio. Sergio. Mr. Sergio. Where is Sergio? Hello, Papa. Okay. Sergio, hello. Okay. Hello. Oh, okay. There, oh, okay. There you go. Ah, oh, no le veía picture. Okay, that's why. So, uh, help me, please. Ayúdeme con ese verbo. Help me with arrive. Um, Puede ser pregunta, positiva, negativa, you know, usted decide. You choose. Ok. I like read the people. Ok. Um, well, arrive es como llegar a un lugar, right? Like, for example, yo llego a mi casa. I arrive home early. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can you repeat your example, please? Okay. Um, or, I, puede, o lo puede decir en español y nosotros le ayudamos. No problem. That's fine. Acá tenemos 25 personas que le quieren ayudar. Okay. Um, bueno, la idea era decir que eh, me gustaba compartir o llegar con las personas al trabajo, no, no llegar solo. Ah, tal vez como me gusta llegar a mi trabajo. And do I like? Sí, yes. Oh, ok. So, ¿cómo puedo decir me gusta llegar a mi trabajo? Sería here, positive sentence. So, comenzamos con the subject, que sería I. Ok. Uh -huh. I, like I, like, I like to arrive. Like. arrive. All right. To my house. To my house. Okay. And then, le puedo agregar más información, right? Me gusta llegar temprano a mi casa. I like to arrive early, you know, to my house. And so, we can modify it. Thank you, thank you, Sergio. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, everybody. So, unfortunately, you know, time flies. So, tenemos un minuto, you know. Do you have any question, comment, suggestion, recommendation? Anything is welcome. Always clear. Okay, great. Thank you, Daniel. Um, con respecto a ciertos verbos, cuales, por ejemplo, que son afectados en tercera persona, por ejemplo, kiss, kisses, eh, ¿usted nos los proveería o nosotros los buscamos? No, sure. Eh, well, ese es el inicio de Simple Present Tense. Nos falta revisar un poquito de las reglas gramaticales, you know, y especialmente el uso. So, sí, más adelante lo vamos a ver. Don't worry about it. Uh, and of course, les puedo proveer con ejercicios adicionales eh, y conjugaciones adicionales. No hay ningún problema. That's fine. Thanks. 
You're welcome. Um, anybody, anybody else? Alguien más? All right. So, de repente se me callaron. Everybody so quiet. I know it's the time. Okay. So, eh, gracias a todos. Thank you very much for joining. All right. Um, it's it was a pleasure to meet you. Ahora habemos 25 conectados. Espero que eh, con el tiempo, verdad, nos vayamos perdiendo el impulso, que nos conectemos siempre. Si tienen alguna dificultad, esas clases quedan en YouTube. Usted puede entrar, puede revisarlas. Si hay alguna parte específica que quiera revisar, you know, no hay ningún problema, lo puede hacer nuevamente. And uh, so, empecemos a trabajar en la plataforma. Les voy a dejar tarea para mañana. So, your homework will be super easy. Terminemos la sesión número uno y de ser posible la sesión número dos de la plataforma. All right? Teacher, Así teacher, el día de mañana teacher, lo revisamos. Mr. García, tell me. Teacher, eh... Um... No sé si por mi nivel de inglés eh, alcancé nomás a comprender quizás un 25%. Eh, recomendaría de que hablara un poco menos inglés para poder ir entendiendo por mi parte. No sé si los demás ya están más avanzados, ¿verdad? Pero siento que con dos módulos, iniciando el segundo módulo, no tengo esa experiencia de poder comprender el inglés de esta forma rápida que la, que la expresa. No se preocupe, es eh, por supuesto muy agradecida por la sugerencia. Eh, la intención es precisamente que poquito a poco, you know, vayan um, acostumbrándose, you know, um, el tono de voz a la velocidad que, que cada uno tiene, you know, y por supuesto lo voy a tomar en cuenta, no se preocupe. Um, siempre gracias. que tengamos la oportunidad de, de practicar, eh, de eso se trata, you know, que, que participemos. Si um, hay algo, si voy muy rápido o hay algo que usted no logra comprender, no hay ningún problema. Siéntase en la libertad de, de indicármelo, ¿right? Solo me gustaría um, saber su nombre porque andaba perdido en otro grupo. Por supuesto, mi nombre es Julia Sarceño. Muchas gracias, dicha Sarceño. No hay ningún problema. Mucho gusto. Eh, Maybelline, termino con su comentario. Sí, solamente quisiera saber si hay la opción aquí de, digamos, cuando usted esté hablando, ponerle subtítulo, igual que YouTube, para que eh, siempre nos familiarizando. Creería que no. No la he encontrado, you know, pero... Ajá, no, no la he encontrado tampoco. No, no la he encontrado, pero, eh, pero igual, la, la, um, listening es una, de las, es una de las skills más importantes. Y eso se desarrolla con el tiempo. Entonces, es cuestión que nos empapemos un poquito, que vayamos escuchando videos, you know. Recuérdese que al inicio sí puede ser como bien shocking, especialmente si es la primera vez que usted estudia inglés. So, eh, no se preocupen, no pierdan los ánimos, ni la motivación tampoco, all right? So, como les digo, tenemos acá toda la, la intención de colaborarles en este proceso, eh, solamente de ponerle un poquito de ganas, right? Y estoy segura que lo van a lograr. So you will finish, eh, van a terminar los módulos y van a terminar siendo uh, bilingües, que es el, el, la meta más importante, right? So, un placer haber estado con ustedes. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Por favor, avancemos hasta la sesión número dos. Have a good night. La tarea. La tarea. No hay ticket.